Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where I tend to use fuck as a comma. If you're not into that or weird shit in general, baby, this is not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. Guys, today's gonna be a different kind of video. Two things though, right off the bat. One, it's fucking hot in New York. That's my fan. Fan, internet, internet fan. This is what it's gonna be like. The second thing is there's a storm. You hear that? No, that's not a demon. That's the outside. <laughs> Basically gonna be like a flash flood advisory bullshit until tomorrow. So we're just gonna have to live through this together. So with that said, grab a drink. I am drinking rosé out of this giant cup because I'm classy. Drink some rosé with me. Let's talk about some makeup releases and we're gonna do it a little bit of a different style. This video is actually in conjunction with my good friend here. Her name is Emily. And I know I've talked about Emily a bunch of times on my channel, but she's this little adorable cupcake right here. So about a couple of weekends, ago me and her and Alex had lunch and we were talking about these kind of types of videos and stuff like that and I was saying to her you know I like these videos but I feel like a lot of people are doing them how could we make this different so she suggested and this is pretty much all her idea so I'm just literally writing her coattails in this one she came up with this beautiful idea of a new makeup nonsense bingo Emily was kind enough to create one of these cards and I'll actually leave the link down below so if you guys want to play with us as well feel free to go check it out it's a lot of fun especially when you had a couple of cocktails in you and I'm already starting to feel this. Jesus Christ, this is gonna be a long video. Mm. By the way, I'm drinking rosé and I'm drinking Vanderpump rosé because one, well, I've always wanted to try this. And two, I really love Vanderpump Rules. I love shitty reality TV. It's like a, a fucking guilty pleasure of mine. And I just, I love me some Vanderpump Rules. I love me some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Not so much the last few seasons because it's been kind of so fucking annoying. New York's my favorite, but I love Vanderpump Rules. They're just fucking so trashy. It's so me. In any case, instead of giving you just kind of like a rundown of all the new products that are coming up, me and Emily pull together about 28 new releases within the next few weeks. Now, some of these things, either just launched or will be launching in the near future. We numbered each item from one to 28. We then we took those numbers and we threw them in a random generator. I'm gonna read off a number, talk a little bit about the product and hope that we hit bingo. Otherwise I'm just gonna keep drinking until I black out. I do wanna say thank you again for Emily for coming up with this beautiful idea. And I do invite you to go check her out and uh, check out what she pulled in this weird fucking game of bingo. And of course, if you're interested in playing along at home, which we would love for you to do. And if you wanna do a video, please read the description of this video. Everything is linked there, including hashtags and all kinds of other bullshit. So before we get started, this is my bingo card. So I'm gonna do a random generated number. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's this, ironically enough something I bought. So Makeup Revolution came out with the Tasty and Fruity Collection, which is basically three eyeshadow palettes, all ranging from about $15 a piece, avocado, pizza, and chili. And then they have a three Fruity Compacts, which is two highlighters and two blushers. By the way, I love when I say blushers. I feel like that's such a fucking English thing to say. Blushers. All right, man, this is, this is gonna be bad. So here's the thing, follow me on this one. Now, I know that there's gonna be a 75% chance that this is gonna be a shitty collection. I know, I know it is. Do you think I care? Fuck no. <laughs> when I saw that avocado palette, I was like, Set me the fuck up, bitch. I need to have it. And I'm very happy I purchased it. I purchased that one and I purchased the pizza one, as well as the two highlighters and the two blushes. Because they just looked fucking cool. Do I care if they work? No, I don't care. I just want them for aesthetic purposes. Because that's the one thing about Makeup Revolution, they make some cute ass fucking shit, girl. Like they really do. However, usually the stuff that I order from the UK, I find it's a little bit better quality than the stuff that I get in the US. Coincidence? I don't know. It's gonna be mad annoying all night. And the reason why I only picked the pizza and the avocado is because if you are new here, hi, my name is Teresa and I'm a garbage person where I drink rosé out of a plastic cup. I love me some yellow and green. And even though I've already completed my quest for yellow, which a hashtag I'm kind of still on, and I love me some green, which I have like literally 90,000 fucking pals of green in it, I need more. I will not stop until I have them all. So that's the reason why I picked those two up. The chili one, she cute, but I was just like, man, fuck it. I don't really care about it. As for the blush, the two blushes look really adorable. The highlighters, however, the banana one is interesting. I don't know if that is gonna be too dark for me and same kind of goes for the pineapple, but fuck it. If anything, it just lives in my background, much like the skull highlighter I got from Makeup Revolution for Christmas, so. 
for the Halloween. What a fucking holiday? Halloween. So yeah, I purchased it. I don't give a shit if it's a waste of money. You'll see a fucking review on it. And I believe it left the UK, so I probably will get it in three to seven months. So, review soon. Yeah! All right, let's generate another motherfucking number. All right, we got a number eight, which is the new Urban Decay shit. So Urban Decay is coming out with a shitload of stuff called the Stay Naked Collection. And basically you have a foundation, a concealer, a color correcting fluid thingy majiggy, vice lip chemistry, which is like a lip tint. Sorry, I had to say that weird because I keep saying limp tit and then a build and blend sponge. So when I first saw it, I was intrigued because I was like, what the, f that sponge looks like it has a button, but I guess it doesn't. I guess it's, a, it's also like half silicone, half sponge. I'm intrigued, but I don't know if I'm gonna buy that. You know what I want it to be? And this is really stupid. I want it to be plastic and I want to be able to press the UD logo and then to open up like transformer style. Like, and then I could like take out my beauty blender. That's what I wanted. I don't want a half silicone half foam sponge. I wanted a McDonald's toy <laughs> and they did not deliver. So I don't think I'm gonna pick up that. As for the foundation, uh, you know, I'm probably gonna try the foundation. I never tried any real complexion products from Urban Decay with the exception of like a powder foundation. And I've heard a lot of good things about like the all nighter line. So I'm gonna bite, I'm tempted. Plus enough of you guys have asked me to review it anyway. So I figured it's only fair to. As for the concealer, it's a demi matte, which means it's gonna dry the fuck out of my under eyes. So I'm probably going to pass on the concealer because fuck that, my eyes don't need to look like they're 97. So that's it's a big old pass. As for the limp tit, uh, no. I don't understand lip tints. I just don't get them. It's kind of like the cheek tints. I don't understand those either. Like who are they for? Uh, not for me. Oh, and the color corrector. No, I don't need a color corrector. Do they even work? Do they? Granted, I think they probably do in certain cases. So anyway, I'm kind of excited about it. Hashtag kinda. <laughs> I'm a fucking bitch today. Let's generate some more fucking numbers here. What else we got on this list? Okay, ooh, we have an indie brand and it is from Macari, Macaria Beauty. Never heard of Macaria Beauty before, but she pretty though. Okay, and this is the, fuck me. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this correctly and I'm so sorry that I'm butchering the name of this beautiful palette, but it's the Azuljo. Oh, it's available now, it's for $25, and it's a very beautiful blue palette. Here's the thing though, for me, I'm going to pass on this because I have enough blue palettes for this lifetime and my next. I'm gonna say no. How many blue fucking palettes do I possibly need? Mmm. I'm all set. But this looks very, very pretty though. It actually looks like a hybrid of the last few palettes that I purchased as well as the Blue Blood. It seems like almost like a best of kind of palette. But I'm gonna have to um, politely decline because I don't need any more. But this is really cute though. Now, let me know down below if you guys have heard of this brand or if you have anything from this brand because uh, their packaging is fucking stunning though. Ooh. Bitch. So Tarte Cosmetics is coming out with a new collaboration, new collaboration with Whitney Simmons. Who the fuck is Whitney Simmons? <laughs> like her name sounds familiar, but her face does not. So let's see what this is about. Tarte and Whitney Simmons collection. You get an eight shade warm tone eye and cheek palette with a deluxe sized man eater voluptuous mascara for $35. A buttery lipstick. That's a lot of money. $35 for all of that? Who the fuck do you think you are? Who you robbing, bitch? Mm -mm. If I were interested in this color story, but this Aspen over at volume two shit I'm not into, I would be like, ooh, $22? Yes, please, 25? Okay, fuck it, but 35? Mm -mm. I mean, I get it, like the reason why they add so much to these like influencer ones because they gotta get paid too. But, oh my God, look at this girl. Look at this girl, she's serious. She's like straight out of a fucking 80s workout video. She also looks unsure. <laughs> She's like, I'm like, like, Tart told me I have to hold it, otherwise they're gonna kill my whole family. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Who are you, Whitney Simmons? Okay, so Whitney Simmons is beautiful day to be alive. I run in sarcasm. Oh, I like you. Lifting weights, but you'll never see me actually running. Okay. You're a YouTuber. My brother-in-law follows her. That's interesting. All right. The more you know. Oh, 
I'm looking at her Instagram. It's all her working out. It's all in her ass and bikini shots. Ass, bikini, ass, bikini. <laughs> that would explain why my brother-in-law follows her. All right, got it. Congratulations, Whitney. Good for you, girl. Is she known for her makeup? Also, wait, why is she holding a dumbbell? Is it, are you supposed to be working out? Oh, I guess this makeup is good if you work. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, y'all. Who goes to the gym with a full fucking face of makeup? Now, when I did go to the gym, can I actually, let me show you a really funny story because this is, this is how fucking stupid I am. I oh, this girl's reminding me of that story. Long story short, me and Alex joined a gym, right? I don't know why. I think it's because I had like, I got like a corporate membership through my job and it made sense. And I was like, oh my God, we're gonna like totally like lose weight and like be healthy and it's gonna be great. It lasted all of two weeks. <laughs> If that, it was it was really bad. In any case, we stopped going to the gym, but we continued to pay for it for the next fucking six to seven months. Finally, we were like, all right, we gotta cancel the gym membership. But to cancel a gym membership, literally have to give them your right arm. So when actually, when I went to the gym to go cancel it, I guess I got so intimidated by everything that was going on that I literally blurted out to them as they were canceling my membership. The reason why we're canceling is because we're moving. And the lady said to me, are you moving anywhere close? Because there are other locations available in New York City. No, 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 no. We're moving to Alaska. I don't know why I said that. It was the first thing that popped out of my head and it was the thing that made the most fucking sense. So the girl, I guess, wanted to double down on my bluff. So she went, Oh, Alaska, huh? Okay. Well, you're going to have to provide us a proof of address since you're moving. I then went crazy because I was like, what did you just do, Teresa? Like, you're a stupid bitch. I don't think we'll be able to provide that. It's just not possible. We're going to be staying at an Airbnb. We don't even have a house yet. <laughs> I did that for about fucking 10 minutes. And the girl was just kind of like, mm, really? Okay. Well, my manager's not here, so you're going to have to come back and then finish the cancellation with my manager. In any case, I fucking left the gym, and then uh, next day when I was at work, I wound up calling the corporate office, and then they wound up canceling it that way. So, which I should have just did that. So, that's kind of like my experience with some gems. <laughs> So yeah, so Whitney just uh, stirred up all those feelings inside me. Great. Now I'm gonna have a ball of anxiety. Awesome. Needless to say, I'm gonna pass on this collection because one, it looks boring as fuck. It's literally the Tarte Light special. But back to my question though, do any of you guys that do actually work out, do you wear makeup and go to the gym? Or do you, like if you don't go to a gym, if you work out in your house or whatever, do you wear makeup? Because I feel like I did that one time and I broke out so fucking badly. And it was the only reason why I had makeup on is because I was doing it right after work. Which, by the way, not fun. <laughs> Not fun when you have like mascara crumbling all over your face and you look like you've been crying for three days. Yeah, really not fun, so. But it looks like that's the theme of this. I don't get workout makeup. I think that's so stupid. In any case, let me know down below, but that's a hard pass for me, sis. Okay, number 27, which is a uh, Sephora Favorites Clean Makeup Kit. This thing. Who wanted this? I didn't want this. The fuck is this? <laughs> Basically, the Sephora favorite set is $28. Includes an Ilia Lash Mascara, Josie Marin, RMS Beauty, Lawless Bite Beauty. I love me some good clean eating. I mean, obviously not right now because I love me some peanut M&Ms, but <laughs> what's clean makeup? What are they making in a bathtub? What is it? I'm legitimately asking. I, I don't think I really ever understand what clean makeup is because all I assumed it was is that they don't make it with any preservatives. <laughs> She lose weight. I'm gonna say that nobody asked for this. However, I feel like this is gonna bite me in the asshole. Probably some of you guys that are like, I asked for it. This is what I wanted, beach. And I'm gonna feel really bad about that. So let me know down below so I could feel bad about it and um, beg for your forgiveness. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, for my motherfucking bingo card, I'm gonna call this a bundle deal that nobody wanted. So, yeah, bitch. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I want it though. <laughs> it's a makeup murder crime scene trace evidence eyeshadow palette. So I have not seen what the eyeshadow palette looks like, but the packaging is fucking so goddamn cool. Obviously, Teresa's dead. Come on. Fucking, if this is not my brand beach, I don't know what is. I need to get this. This looks really cool. Unless the color story is a neutral Nelly. And if that's the case, then shame on you because you wasted good packaging for no fucking reason. I don't know. I think this could be pretty fucking cool. They also have these evidence extractor kits. It looks really fucking cute. Yeah, I'm going to pick it up because it's weird. Oh my God. And the CEO is named Teresa. Yes. And, and she spelled it with an H? Oh, I gotta follow this bitch. 
Anybody who spells Teresa with an H is automatically a saint in my books. Because that's the only way to spell it. You spell it without the H, well, I'm sorry for you. You obviously haven't lived to your full potential. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop drinking. Okay, so the next thing is actually from ColourPop, but it's a new affordable body brand, a sister brand called Soul Body. Oh, it's a shimmering dry body oil for 15 bucks. Well, you know I love looking like an alien slut, I do. But I kind of draw the line when it comes to like body oils. And I think it's just because I'm fat. <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm about to go into the deep fryer. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind looking like I have the meat sweats. I'm okay with that. But like the rest of my body, I don't need to look like a fucking Twilight vampire. And I think with all these brands, like I think like Patrick Ta was one of them. Anastasia, that was another one. And granted, I did play with some of this shit in a Sephora and I was like, ooh, but then I was like, when the fuck am I ever going to be using this? I'm too old to be going to the fucking clubs and I'm way too old to be going to any sort of fucking festivals and doing any sort of ecstasy. My heart will stop. But I'm going to politely decline them and be like, fuck no, get the fuck away from me. I don't want anything to do with you. Next. All right, I pulled number 10. What's number 10? No, no. Hi, if you're new here, I invite you to go watch my Jeffree Star mystery box the first time it came out. I invite you to go watch that. That's fun. I will never fucking do another mystery box that company as long as I fucking live. You would have to pay me to do that because I was so fucking disappointed. It was, it was such bullshit. Honestly, it was the shit that they, nobody was fucking buying that they put in a fucking box. And granted, it's my fault for buying into this mystery box. I know. I really can't blame anyone but myself. Yeah, he got my money on that one. So I'm pretty sure my $80 went to that fucking car that he just bought his boyfriend so but yeah I'm gonna say no fuck no get the fuck out of here I'm not buying I'm not doing that but I love that you guys keep tagging me on it because I feel like you guys know that I'm mad <laughs> and I am so fucking mad oh Pat McGrath bitch so Pat McGrath is coming out with a new line called the sublime perfection and it's a skin fetish foundation in 36 shades not the greatest compared to Urban Decay that's coming out with 50. Primer that's $60. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Two face brushes and a setting powder for $55. So basically I am going to purchase this. And I know you're probably like, really bitch? Here's the thing. I do love me some Pat McGrath. Like I love mother and all that stuff like that. But I have $37 for uh, rewards points because I actually have this for a credit card. I'm not telling you guys that you need to get any credit cards. Don't get any credit cards. It's like, that's stupid. Never live beyond your means. And I've been saving it for a rainy day. And now it's my rainy day. So now that foundation will only cost me $28 as opposed to $68. I think for that collection, I am definitely going to pick up the foundation because I love that it's a satin finish. I love that it's like a sheer to medium buildable coverage and it's basically fresh, natural looking skin. I, I love that. As for the setting powder, I'm kind of on the fence about like, I kind of want to try it and I kind of don't want to try it only because I'm, I feel like lately I'm not really into loose setting powders only because like if I keep baking the shit out of my face, I look like a fucking Dunkaroo cookie and I ain't about that fucking life, bitch. So I don't know how I feel about that one. A primer, $60. No, no. Bad enough, I spend $52 on the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I can't spend $8 more. I draw the line at $52. Okay, I can't. Fuck that. Unless that thing is blowing me, I don't fucking want it. And the two face brushes, no. I don't need it. So this comes out July 26th. I am going to pick it up and best believe that there will be a review on it. So be on the lookout for that. Ugh. Sorry, I'm getting real fucking drunk right now. <laughs> These videos are not a good idea because I get sidetracked. All right, so the next one, it's up for pre-order. Be Perfect Cosmetics, I've never heard of this brand before, but it's with the collaboration of Stacy Marie MUA. Congratulations, boo-boo. This is pretty. This palette is fucking awesome. It's basically just one big giant rainbow palette and it's going to retail for about, oh fuck, what's the conversion? 42 pounds, so which is about $52, ooh, bitch. But you do get 30 vibrant matte shades, 10 metallics, and three blinding highlights. This is fucking pretty. You know, for $52, like, I guess it's well worth the money in terms of how, what you're getting, but I've never heard or tried this brand before, so I'm kind of hesitant 
But then again, do I really need these colors? I have 75 fucking rainbow palettes. Probably not. Do I need the highlighters? No, I have fucking drawers full of highlighters. Do I really need this? No. Do I want it? Kinda. <laughs> kind of how I get sucked into things because that mustard's calling my motherfucking name and that row of greens Ooh, bitch I love that no I'm gonna pass this is very pretty and normally I would be literally eating this thing's ass out but I'm gonna say no only because I already have these shades and I don't know the quality of them it's cool though it looks really awesome but no I don't need it I don't need it Next. okay so the next thing is <sighs> So the next thing is an oversized Morphe palette. It's the 35H Hotspot Artistry. No, no. None of that looks interesting. The only thing that looks interesting is that one fucking teal shade. But you know what? I already have that. I don't need this. And Morphe is so hit or miss. Fuck you, fuck that, no. Next. Okay, so next one is number five, which is Too Faced. Yay, Too Faced. And this is a sneak peek of the Palm Springs Dream. Honestly, you know what? The only thing that actually draws me to this whole palette is that pop of orange. I think maybe that might be my new color. Quest for orange. Anytime now I see an orange, I'm like, I'm listening. Color story, it's kind of bland with the exception of that pop of orange. So I probably am not gonna pick this up. However, look at that packaging though. The packaging's fucking stunning. That's the one thing I have to say about Too Faced is that their packaging is fucking stellar. And it's very, very pretty. Is that pink? Bitch, I think it's pink. I think it's a millennial pink. Kinda looks like a baby pink, but whatever, fuck her. For all intents and purposes, we're gonna call it a millennial pink for this one. Yay, I get to pull out my little fucking bingo card. <laughs> I'm gonna pass on this one. She's like pretty, but like, I don't want to fuck her. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, I'm not into it. Like, I know you're not going to be good at it. Like, you're literally just going to lay there like a fish. So, I'm going to say no. Nope. Pass. Next. All right. So, the next one is number one, which is, what the fuck is this? JC Cosmetics. Never heard of them before. This looks like a very weird Morphe slash Pinky Rose palette. I don't know, the packaging reminds me of Pinky Rose a little bit. Packaging wise, fucking cute though. That's pretty. I love me a flower queen. I love that. All right, so basically it's seven shimmers, 28 mattes. I guess the day that it launches is gonna be $40. It comes out July 17th. Here's the thing about it. There's too many similar colors going on. As much as I love me a good orange, yellow, green situation, the purple line is throwing me off because I hate that that shade Sunrise is like right in the middle. That's pissing me off. I want to like take that out immediately and put the great pop in there. It's kind of strange actually because it feels like half of this palette was going in some sort of like monochromatic moment of being like darkest to lightest of like purples and blues and oranges. But then in each row, like they'll just throw in some random fucking colors so like in the oranges there's one green in the purples it's a one orange in the pinks it's that one purple and i'm like it's that's not cute <laughs> that's annoying me the fucking ocd in me is like you need to arrange this palette better as much as i love the packaging on it and considering there is a shitload of yellows and greens and i think that's really beautiful i probably would not pick this up only because it doesn't make sense to me when it comes to creating looks and stuff like that i really do not want to feel like i'm spending an eternity solving a math problem I just want to put makeup on my fucking face however that the line of orange though Bitch. fuck me up Santa I want that that's what I want and I actually like the green too I wish I just wish they just straighten the shit out if they straighten the colors out I would totally fucking pick it up but because they're not I'm not going to because it just seems too chaotic for me and as someone who likes a little bit of order in their life this is just too much so I'm gonna say no next so the next one I'm gonna pull is, oh, a number 21, Certify, the Eternity Palette. Right off the bat, this reminds me of Modern Renaissance, but just with extra shades. I've never actually tried anything from Certify, and the only thing that I ever really wanted to try was that, that green-blue-ish palette. This is very pretty though, but she's a neutral Nelly. Not really my cup of tea color story-wise. This retails for 30 pounds, so what the fuck does that mean? So this retails for about $37 US. It's, she's very pretty, but she, she just reminds me of modern renaissance too much, so. I'm gonna politely pass on that one. I think I need more rosé. Drink a whole bottle. 
All right, so I got a number 18, and that is, oh, from M Cosmetics. I fucking love M Cosmetics. Well, I take that back. I only really like the eyeliner from them. Never really tried anything else out, because I never really wanted to, because the eyeliner is really all I need. However, M Cosmetics is selling some serum blushes. Oh, packaging wise, it looks like a little Christmas ornament. That's adorable. Okay, so basically these are innovative, lightweight, luxurious serum formula provides sheer buildable color and an enduring youthful dewy glow in each drop. Shades about $25 a piece. Huh. They're really pretty, but I just don't understand them. And the same kind of goes for like cheek stains and all kinds of shit like that. I'm old school. I'm like, just give me some blush. I don't need like liquid blush. I don't need that shit. It's pretty, but no, I'm not the right person to be marketed this shit to. Packaging wise, 10 out of 10, really fucking pretty. And that's what I like about M Cosmetics. Everything is so sleek and pretty, but um, this I'm probably gonna pass on only because I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> All right, so, and now I pulled a number 28, and 28 is a ColourPop release. Oh, 28 is ColourPop, so fucking surprise, surprise. Okay, so ColourPop came out with a lip tint. <sighs> ColourPop, can we talk for a second? We all love you, and we want the best for you, and we really feel that you're just spreading yourself a little bit thin. You're coming out with some products that haven't really been that stellar, and we feel like it's because you're pushing yourself a little too hard. So I think what I need for you to do is just like kind of slow it down a little bit and like pump the brakes and maybe come out with something like maybe from six weeks from now. Just chill out. Like I really do love ColourPop formula just in overall, but they're coming out with so much shit that everything is starting to look exactly the same. So it doesn't seem very special anymore. So when they do come out with something, I literally roll my eyes every fucking time. Pass. <laughs> Bitch, I think I hit bingo. You win. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this take on new makeup releases. I think me and Emily's plan is to kind of come up with this like maybe every two weeks or so because there's a lot of makeup releases that are coming out. And you know, we also don't want to beat a dead horse because a lot of people are also doing similar videos to this. We kind of wanted to be a little bit different. So hey, if you don't drink, smoke some weed with us. <laughs> and if you don't do that, just knit, whatever, who cares? And have fun playing our reindeer games. In any case, let me know down below if you're interested in any of the items that I spoke about. If you want to see actual reviews on certain things, blah, 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 let me know because I love hearing from you guys and uh, yeah. So if you are interested in playing this game, all the information will be linked down below. And I guess that's about it. Let's see if I remember my outro. On that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that fucking subscribe button. It's motherfucking free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Snapchat, Chad. <sighs> Snapchat, Discord, Visual 3 Podcasts on Thursdays, and my husband's Twitch that occasionally I join. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you little pumpkins later. Good night.